everyone, it's Elisa from Elisa Beth Photography. I just wanted to uh, give you a really quick tutorial overall on how I do my um, my confetti layers. So I want to give you, show you. I um, here I have a, a a picture with boys and there's some confetti on them, and um, I'm going to actually shut the confetti off and I'm going to show you what how I did this. So um, I'm just going to put my make my group here. Confetti, and I'm going to shut it off. There you go. And I'm going to tell you that the first thing I would do is I'm going to use to find either create your own confetti layers or um, buy confetti layers or find some free ones. I don't remember where I got mine from, but I did find a link to a whole bunch of free confetti layers for you. So I did put them in the comments of this uh, video. So feel free to f go to the comments of the video and go to the link. Um, just follow the instructions on the usage of the confetti. So um, what I did was, the first thing I did was I would go into my files, click place embedded, and then I would look for my confetti layer. And I found it right here and I would place it. Okay. And so I like this confetti. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the confetti about four times. Okay. And then I'm going to start on one of the layers. I'm going to press Command T and I'm just going to move it up up here because the boy's blowing confetti, so he's he's blowing it around there. Go to the next layer, press Command T, bring it down to the bottom. Go to the next layer, press Command T, bring it up a little bit. I could also, you know, overlap it a little bit, move it around a little bit. Go to the next layer and press Command T and bring that confetti down. And I'm looking here and I'm thinking, you know what? I might um, want to even add one more layer of confetti. So I just grab the confetti layer and duplicated it and press Command T and I'm moving it back up here. You might want to give it a little spin so that you know you're not, so you, your confetti is a little bit more random because we did just duplicate layers over and over again. So to me, it, it might not really matter that much. The confetti is not looking like it's, um, like it's, it's too much the same. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to just sort of randomize your confetti a little bit. Maybe even just make some of it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. Uh, can't hurt. So, I'm just playing around now. All right. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to work with the confetti all. Actually, I'd like to move this layer. I think it's this one. Nope, it wasn't. It's... I'm going to move this layer just a teensy bit down. Fill in the gap a little bit over here. I might even stretch it out a little. It's just confetti, so, you know, it could be a little bit more random. And uh, I like the way that looks. So now I'm going to take all my confetti layers. So I'm going to click on the top one, push my shift key down, click on the bottom one, and now they're all highlighted. I'm going to drag them and create a folder out of them. Call it confetti. And now everything I do is going to uh, be working on the confetti as one unit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer, adjustment layer, hue saturation, and clip it to my confetti layer. And I'm going to play it around a little bit with the hue and saturation. Do I want it a little less saturated, or a little bit more saturated? Do I want to play around with the color of my confetti, change it up a little bit? Uh, really up to you. You can also go into your confetti folder, press Command T, and now work with all of those layers together as one. Maybe you want to um, make it the confetti a little bit smaller. You could even use the, the uh, what I'm doing right here is I'm, I'm pressing the Command key and pulling the sides to sort of just uh, work it a little bit. Okay. Pressing OK. All right, so um, the confetti looks pretty good to me right now. So what I would do now is I'm going to add a layer mask over my confetti, and I'm going to use a black brush, and I'm going to, right now I have it at an opacity of 100, 
I'm just going to brush it off in spots that I think it wouldn't be realistic. And this is really, you know, up to you. Um, thinking about, I, you know, it might be realistic to have the confetti going over the kids' faces, but since you have that kind of control, why, why not? Because every mom probably does not want to see their, they'd like to see their child's face and not the confetti. So wipe off the confetti from their faces. Um, maybe uh, wipe off this face over here. I probably wouldn't want it there, but you know, you try to make it look realistic. You know, the confetti's a. I don't think the, con the confetti was going to be hanging down here. Well, yeah, it could be, right? Um, people asked if I actually used confetti, and to be honest with you, in my very first uh, shoot, I did use confetti, and it is might look a smidge more realistic, but um, it's very messy, very very messy. So. I've done this ever since. And sometimes I do a real confetti. I use real confetti and then I add this in this filler in between. Um, is that the confetti I'm pressing Command T again? I think I'd like to make my confetti just a little bit smaller. So I'm just kind of bringing it in a little bit. And this is this is where you just really go for personal preference, you know? You just start to play around a little bit. How do you think it looks? How much do you want to wipe off? Do you want some confetti hanging all the way down to the bottom? Sure, why not? This is your box. This is your ideas, your creativity. Um, might you want to add some shadow to your confetti, or would you want to uh, have a little less confetti, more confetti? Maybe I, and looking at this now, maybe I would actually add a little bit more right there to fill it in. Maybe I would have some more on the sides over here to drop it down. So I would just go back into my confetti layers and just made just do exactly what I did before I would duplicate the confetti and then move it around um, and that's really that's really it that's pretty much confetti like I said play around the human saturation layers you could even go into your confetti layer to the whole group at the same time right click on this and go to blending adjustments if you want to add let's say a drop shadow and you know you might not need a drop shadow but maybe it's just even like a touch of a drop shadow could even add a little bit of realism to it. Um, and the nice thing is that it's a um, just playing around with the spread and the distance. So pressing OK. This is actually a smart object, so you can turn your drop shadow on and off to see if that even made a difference. I think I didn't really do much to the effects to make much of a difference there but and that's really it so um like i said you know you might want to make your confetti smaller you might want to add more to it less to it wipe some off but that's how i go about adding confetti um look it's your box you could even add confetti that sort of spreads and, and sprinkles all the way down and filters all the way down through here nothing's you know you don't have to have just fall down through these so um that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And um, two things, if you're in our awesome Facebook group and that's how you got to this video, um, do me a favor and please um, press the button to follow um, my YouTube channel. That would be great. So if you could subscribe, um, I would love that. Uh, and if you just found this tutorial randomly, Please know that there's a link in this video to an amazing, amazing Facebook group. We have the largest box Facebook group on Facebook, and um, we have over 8,000 people right now who are interested in either building or already creating their boxes, and everybody is incredibly helpful, creative, like super creative, um, kind. Everyone is there for each other. Nobody's really in competition with each other. They're just there to show off all the amazing work they're doing, ask for help, get some guidance, and uh, be a part of a community. So uh, the link is in the, is in the comments also. I would love for you to join us. All right. Thanks for uh, watching.